All right. So in this module, I want to talk a little bit about the effects that processing has on the mechanical properties of ceramics. So ceramics, uh, again, typically elastic materials uh, have negligible plasticity. So we only have that linear elastic portion. And all of what we talk about here is going to apply to other materials that have limited plasticity and are brittle materials. Um, and one thing to kind of note here is that if you look at the tables in the back of the book and you go to ceramics, uh, where you'd see yield strength for metals, you actually just see nothing, right? That's because these materials don't yield. Uh, there's no plastic deformation. And so you don't see anything here. You just see tinsel, which is basically saying this is the max stress on the curve, which is the fracture strength. So that's an important thing to, to keep in mind. And so our, the curves are very simple, right? It's just mostly just uh, linear elastic. So very simple curves up it to the point of fracture, and then they break. So because of this, ceramic processing um, becomes very important because brittle materials, that with little plasticity, emphasizes the effects of defects such as pores and other defects so here's porosity and a part here's it on a much smaller scale um, and so we can also have it on uh, the microscopic scale where we really don't have much this is actually a very controlled uh, minimization of, of pores um, so these processing can result in different types of defects like pores and other kind of defects in the material and the important thing here is that these defects uh, when they're in the material, act as what we call stress concentrators, just like when we talked about the neck region, right? Instead of a uniform stress throughout the material, it's actually concentrated on these types of defects. So this is a hole in the material. Uh, the stress actually goes up right on the edge of that pore. And the same thing if we had a crack, they would be concentrated, the stress would be concentrated on that crack in the material. So these defects have stress concentrated on them. And the reason this is important is because they're brittle. There's no plastic deformation. So instead of deforming at, you know, when this happens, they fracture suddenly in a brittle manner, like if you break a plate or something, right? So that's the important part is that for materials with very little plastic deformation, the, the, uh, the effects of defects, which cause stress concentrations, more greatly affect the failure of these materials. So let's take the example of porosity or holes, right? So this material is an example of something that's very close. I showed kind of the grain boundaries and you don't really see any empty space between them. So this is near perfect. Whereas this has a, a pretty high degree of empty space pores, uh, a greater pore volume, so to speak, which is P. And so we see here from the flexural strength of this, this type of ceramic that it starts out very high uh, when we have no or very little uh, volume fraction of pores. But then as we increase the amount of pores, the flexural strength goes down quite a bit. And, and that can be modeled by this equation. Um, I'm not really going to have you use this equation. I just want you to see that the effect of something like porosity decreases the, the strength. It can also uh, decrease the elastic modulus of the material as well. So here is the same type of curve and similar trend uh, as you see here. And you see that the elastic modulus starts out pretty, pretty high and then decreases with the amount of uh, porosity. So part of that is the um, Part of that is the stress concentration effect, and part of it is the 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 least the less material we have, the less area there is, and so that also changes the stress uh, part of the equation because we're talking about force over area, and more porosity is affecting that area. So, the, uh, so when we talk about ceramics and other br brittle materials, the processing, the defects that occur are, become very important in controlling the mechanical properties of those materials.